Hello everyone, that's tuning into today's fur video. We're going to have a look at the weather. It's 10 to 14 days for today's fur video. Day 10 will take us to the 30th of March. We'll be able to extend out beyond that. We are sent to FS and ECM Ensembles. Maybe we'll try in a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And uh, that will get us into the second half of April. I shall get on that for you in a moment, just see that first video you said was our 6 UK weather forecast, and we've also uh, had a verification video uh, that we've released today uh, for the winter 2023-24 forecast, so uh, we released that, of course, at the beginning of December, we're well on into uh, spring now, and so it's time to go back and verify the winter forecast, how did we do, check out that video if you'd like to do that. Like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. We need to put around 50 subscribers to get ourselves to 18.1k. So if you could give us a sub and tell your friends and family to subscribe, it would be incredible. It would be amazing. And uh, we thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. <coughs> so sorry, sorry, everyone. Right, let's start off in the strat. Just say that the prolonged ongoing... Uh, sudden stratospheric warm event and reversal of zona winds continues. This is from weather is cool. So the blue line here is uh, the current zona wind and where it's been through this season. Um, now in the early March and the beginning of March, the zona wind went into reverse. We are now well into the second half of March. The zona wind is still in reverse, still un underneath that zero line there. A prolonged reversal of zona wind at 10 HPA 60 degrees north, we put GFS ensembles in, we can see that uh, the prediction is for zona winds to go positive by the end of March into the beginning of April, but probably got about another week of uh, reversal of uh, zona winds to continue, but this will not be the final warming, the final reversal of uh, zona winds in the stratosphere at 10 HPA, so uh, that's probably going to happen towards the end of April and into the beginning of May, where it usually, usually does cyclically. Of course, we're still waiting to see what, if any, tropospheric response we get to this SSW and prolonged reversal of zonal winds. <coughs> Oh, sorry, sorry, once again, everybody. Right, sensing temperature is currently sitting at 7.9, which is 2.2 degrees above 61 to 1990 average. That is provisional to yesterday, to the 19th of March, turning into a very mild uh, March. This, after, of course, an exceptionally mild February, um, January was a little bit closer to average, though. Means with GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks on the Bedford today, so red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average for Bedford. Starting off above average with both upper air temperatures at the moment, of course, but they are going to start coming down by the time we get through the weekend. Actually, we're getting colder than average. Remember, the last sort of week or so of the month, we see those upper air temperatures and probably the surface temperatures too coming out below average. So it doesn't look as though this prolonged, mild or warm spell is uh, about to run out of road or it is running out of road. And uh, by the weekend, things will be considerably cooler. Into the beginning of April, we probably see signs of the upper air temperatures reverting back closer to average. Although there is a lot of scatter within that, of course. So the uh, green line, that's the uh, uh, GFS 6 and operational run. That goes quite well above the control run goes um, even colder, actually, into the beginning of April. So quite a bit of an uncertain scatter there for, like, the start of April. But the trend for the next, uh, the rest of March, I think, is clear anyway, which is starting off very mild, becoming colder through the weekend and into next week. Precipitation-wise, um, well, it's, it's a little bit dry, but it has been. Uh, we've got that going for it over the next few days. So they're not completely dry, but will be further rain to come and by the end of the month as we go towards the Easter period actually looking very wet with a lot of precipitations bites that may by the look of it carry on into the beginning of April as well though I say that is a long way off and so therefore is unreliable. Temperature anomalies from the 20th of March to 28th coming out about average really not partic particularly big deviation Either way, precipitation anomalies from the 20th to the 28th of March, wetter than average for northern and western regions, and nearer normal elsewhere. The latest Windrow map from EarthNoldSchool.net shows that uh, we've got uh, low pressure really dominating weather 
uh, today, and Welfron is in the middle of the country. Um, they'll bring in generally mild air from off the Atlantic, but by the end of the week, we'll replace those mild southwesters with cooler northwesters or even northerlies. Right, so let's start going through chart data. Then we saw the latest UK met Euro run. It's looking for midnight on Saturday. Talking about northwest winds. That's where the northwest wind is setting in as a cold front pushes out of way and towards Germany and the Low Countries. It introduces a northwesterly flow and that brings winter showers into the northwest. Wind turns northerly through Saturday into Sunday, so that brings even colder air into the north. Showers turn into snow across the northern and northeast regions. Winter showers are possible even down into all southern areas overnight from Saturday to Sunday. We'll turn back to rain, of course, through Sunday itself. Um, then this next area of low pressure starts moving in from the Atlantic into the beginning of next week. And we go very, very unsettled as we uh, push on into next week. Very cyclonic, real low pressure there. 975 millibars over the top of the country, telling us that we'll likely have showers and longer spells of rain through the early to middle part of next week, running up towards Easter. And we are on the cool side of the jet stream as well. The black line is the rough position of the jet stream as to our south. So it will be chilling at the very least and unsettled through the early to middle part of next week. I can't again bring in that northwest wind on Saturday. That brings plenty of showers in with it. Winds turning northerly from Saturday into Sunday. So shower turns to snow in the far north. Low pressure pushing through the country into the beginning of next year. Of course, we'll start on the northern edge of these areas of low pressure, by the way. Wouldn't rule that out. That would be particularly for Scotland to Dorval, England. Cold rain from the south, of course. Um, and then into the middle of next week, uh, where we're going to keep uh, keep the weather very cyclonic. Low pressure sits over top of the country. It brings showers and longer spells of rain. And chilly as well, on the cool side of the jet stream, bringing the wind from the northwest. So um, it's going to be quite cold, I think, for the early part of uh, next week. KMA uh, from South Korea, again, looks like that. Northerly winds from uh, over the weekend. Then low pressure back in from the Atlantic into the early part of next week. Looking really unsettled by the middle of next week. 960 millibar area of low pressure on top of the country. That probably be named if it comes off. Um, named Storm with, uh, you know, a lot of heavy rain with that. And no doubt some very strong winds uh, wrapped around it as well. We're heading towards the Easter period, saying very cyclonic also. Uh, just size maybe by the end of these, this is Easter Monday to the 1st of April, but the Azores High is trying to make a move from the uh, southwest, so maybe turn drier through the uh, Easter weekend there. The GFS Midnight Run, again, looking chilly and unsettled over the weekend and into the start of next week as well, being deep areas of low pressure coming in. From off Atlantic, bringing lots of wind and rain in with them. We sound generally on the mild side of below pressures, though, with the uh, GFS Big Night Run. Uh, it won't be as cold or as chilly as some of the model output um, has it. But nevertheless, still very unsettled and temperature probably a bit depressed, really, as we go into the Easter weekend. Low pressure right over top of the country there on Easter Monday. I certainly should say um, uh, Easter Day, which is the 31st of March, of course. No, uh, saying unsettled. Now, after that, higher pressure begins to build from the Atlantic. So, we start to turn drier, but we stay on the cold side of that high, the highest in the North Atlantic. And so, around that, wind's coming in from the north or northeasterly direction. So, right way to, uh, to the end of the GFS uh, midnight run, we stay quite chilly with northeasterly winds. Um, that's the 5th of April, by the way. Quite chilly with northeasterly winds and um, a little bit drier, though, especially so to the north and west. So this time the GFS 6 is looking in comparison. Again, we have that northerly push as we go through the uh, weekend. To the beginning of next week, low pressure is on a northwest southeast alignment, so that will bring plenty of rain into the south and west. Could be a little bit of snow on the northern edge of those areas of low pressure. That's particularly... <coughs> So, sorry once again, everybody, that's particularly for Northern England and Scotland there. Into the eastern period, again, under that area of low pressure, we keep it very unsettled. The further showers, long spells, rain quite chilly into the eastern weekend as well. However, a bit of a change as we go through eastern. Higher pressure begins to start building from the uh, south and from the east. So, we start to turn things drier and more settled. I think probably still little bit on the cool side with this ridge of high pressure but it does turn drier through the easter period 
with this GFS 6 f bum. And uh, we go to town with high pressure, actually, right way through to the end of the GFS uh, 6 z So we end up pulling up the wind from a southerly direction. That would be quite um, mild or even quite warm, actually. Possibly getting our first 20 Celsius temperatures of the year with both southerly winds. So could we change that? Uh, we're starting over the Easter weekend and then lasting until the beginning of April with much more in way of higher pressure. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Make sure you check one doing that. Why not drop a comment and let's say what you think about missing all of our videos and content. And don't get tear friends about gals well, obviously. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. We only need to put on around 50 subscribers to get ourselves to 18.1k. So if you could give us a sub and tell your friends about to subscribe, that would be incredible. Thank you so much. Okay, GM. Again, those northwest winds on Saturday. Uh, we turn wind into the north. Saturday through the sunny, quite a chilly weekend. Coming up, could be some wintry showers with north. Thermal low pressure coming in off Atlantic to the open from next week. Looking very unsettled and quite chilly. Those so areas of low pressure as well. Really deep low there by the middle of next week. That could be a named storm through the middle part of uh, next week and we keep low pressure in control in the essentially right way up to day 10 which is the 30th of march into the east we can no sign of any build of pressure there with the gm <laughs> just keeps those areas of low pressure coming really um well into uh the easter holiday and they've got the ecm again with the wind in from the northwest on saturday cool and showering those uh, chilly northwesterly winds continue through the rest of the weekend as well. Further low pressure punching through early next week will bring plenty of rain in with it. Uh, and we head up towards Easter, still unsettled. It's milder. And by day town, which is the 30th of March, the East is also trying to build a little bit of pressure to the east and pull the wind up for a southerly direction. So the East starts to turn things milder and potentially a little bit drier there. As we go through the um, Easter weekend. This is the precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from tometeo.com. So, further showery conditions come over the next few days. Of course, as it turns colder by the end of the week, the showers turn wintry in the north and the west. Possibly even a little wintry weather getting into more eastern regions um, through the uh, weekend. Start of next week, well, heavy rain coming in from the Atlantic, so that turns to snow through Scotland to northern England, especially, of course, over higher ground. Um, further wet weather at times as well. Again, a bit of a snow event suggested there for Northern Ireland and Scotland. Now, the middle part of next week, cold rain further south, of course. Um, and that's a bit of snow at day 10. Many have gone back to rain as the air is turning milder with both southerly winds. These are the options on the table within the East um, Ensemble Day 4, Day 10. From the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 30th of March, Easter Saturday. 15 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure to the west, high pressure to the east. Still quite unsettled, turning a bit drier perhaps, and uh, milder with winds up from the south. We've got 11 with low pressure, more or less over top of the country. Very unsettled, of course, a bit of blocking up towards Greenland. We've got 9 with low pressure in off the Atlantic. That also is going to be very unsettled. We've got 8. Again, with deep low pressure in the Atlantic, we have got six with low pressure just to our west, and we've got two low pressure more towards the northwest. Differing slightly all of those options in the exact placement of the low pressures, but generally most of them are all low pressure dog. Well, I say generally most of them, but all of them really are low pressure dominated. So uh, it looks unsettled there with nearly all of those options. As we go into the Easter period. In two week time, these are the options that we've got. Gets the 4th of April. 17 members of the ECM on time have high pressure blocking around Iceland. That will bring in drier but also chillier winds from the east and from the north east. We've got 15 with low pressure out to the west. A bit of blocking again up towards Greenland. But probably going to be rather milder with an Atlantic flow. We've got 12 with low pressure right over top of the country. And then we've got 7 with low pressure again more or less over straight to the west of the country. Most of the options still look quite unsettled there. Even up to uh, uh, two weeks out. The majority option though is 17 here which is drier but rather chilly. Uh, but uh, again, I wouldn't put all that much um, credence in that at the moment. We may get a change of higher pressure in early, early April. But, uh, you know, we've got a lot, a lot to get through, I think, before we have any confidence in that at the moment. 
A CFSB tree finally, and then we're done. These are 500 millibar heights on break down into weak periods. The first week period takes from the 20th, 26th of March. Next week is looking unsettled with low pressure in from the Atlantic. So, an unsettled week to come. Week two is going to be the 27th of March, the 2nd of April. Low pressure again dominating over and to the west of the country. Week four. He will be the 3rd to the 9th of April with high pressure, <coughs> excuse me, just to the east, low pressure is out to the west. And we will be bringing up a southerly wind with that. So turning a bit drier and milder there, for a bit warmer through the first week of April. Uh, week 4, quite quickly breaking that high down though, this is the 10th to 16th of April. And then low pressure comes back to the northwest, high pressure flattens off to the south. We will revert back to a westerly flow. It's a long way off, though, of course. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you share everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Worth and get them to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. 50 subscribers gets us to 18.1k. Oh, uh, you could give us a sub. That'd be amazing and incredible. Thank you so much. I'll just show what's happening on the channel tomorrow. Down 6 m UK weather forecast. The European outlook. Maybe another Easter update. And, of course, I'll be a 10 to 14 day as well. So, please keep checking back to the channel for more. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your Thursday. And bye for now.